Hey guys, thanks for coming back and checking it out. I have got the best hack ever for you guys for off grid, maintaining your equipment, your vehicles, whatever. Check this out. Welcome to Hidden Valley Homestead, where my wife Olivia and I escaped the city to homestead our off grid property in Idaho. This is our journey. Okay guys, so uh, if you guys have been following the channel, you guys know that I have a, a dozer as well as a, uh, a skid steer. And uh, I need to clean the oil. I had There was an oil leak in my skid steer and um, that oil blew all over the radiator. So that oil got on the radiator and then kind of gummed up and dust and dirt stuck to it. So it's kind of clogging my radiator. It's not cooling as much as it needs to. So I need to wash off all of that goo and that oil from my radiator. So this is a hack. When you're off grid, you have to make do with what you've got. So this is, I gotta give credit where credit's due. This is my buddy, Alan, and uh, he's always in the chat. He helped us do these floors. You guys know Alan from uh, watching previous videos. And uh, he suggested that I do something where I can get hot water. I don't have a heated, one of those gas fired uh, hot water pressure washers yet. I plan on getting one, I can't wait to have one, but they're expensive for a nice one. Even the used ones are going for a lot of money. So how do I get hot water to clean off oil and uh, grease off of a machine? All of you that want to do that to your car engines, whatnot. So check this out. This is something that you got to do on a regular basis. You got to rinse out your water heater. He suggested I hook up a hose to my water heater and it's under pressure. And there's probably, uh, I think it's a 40 gallon water here. I got 40 gallons of hot, hot water in there, ready to go. So check this out, here we go. Okay, so a water heater, uh, it's got a, this thing's only a few years old, a ream, pretty sure it's a 40 gallon. And uh, you're supposed to rinse these out on occasion for any corrosion or whatever. At the very, very bottom is a drain and it's got hose, um, it's got hose threads on there. So I'm going to hook up my hose to the bottom of this water heater. I've got a little, uh, I've got a bucket there to catch any drips. And you don't want to over tighten it because this is plastic. Some of them have brass ones. You can go a little tighter, but you just want to make it nice and snug. So that rubber seal seals. Now, because this thing is under pressure, I don't have to worry about opening up the uh, control valve. I know, I know, I know. Go ahead and leave me a, a comment. All of you that are observant, <laughs> tell me what's wrong with this picture. I'm gonna fix it, don't worry. S future video. Okay, got my hose hooked up. Got a nozzle on the end. <clears throat> that way it didn't just come running out. So here we go, guys. I took off the grates, the safety grates off the back of the skid steer here so I can access the back of the radiator a little easier. And uh, I'm warming up the engine so I can warm up that radiator and, and try and soften all that oil or whatever that's, that's on there. And uh, I'm gonna spray the inside of the radiator right here and get that purple power is what I'm going to be using, a degreaser. I'm also going to be spraying degreaser on the inside of here where I can get to it. So as soon as that radiator is, is warm enough, uh, it'll have gotten that stuff a little softer. Put the degreaser, turn, in, turn the engine off obviously. I turned off the engine, let it warm up for a while. Hopefully, uh, uh, whatever oil and stuff is on there has got warmed up and softened up. I'm gonna spray Purple Power degreaser on this thing. I don't have, a, I have a spray bottle, but this is all the, the degreaser I have right now, so I have to go get some more, I think. Um, this will work for now. I'm sure I'll get a comment or two about wearing rubber gloves when you use this stuff because it's it's definitely hard on your hands it's a degreaser so it it'll dry out your hands but I'm gonna rinse them off really quick anyway 
not that big a deal. If I was doing this every single day, yeah, I would definitely be wearing gloves. What I forgot to do was put my safety glasses on in case I get a splash back in my eye. All right guys, I got turned on the valve in the bottom of the water, hot water heater and uh, I'm gonna get the cold water out. And there's the hot. Yikes! All right, I'm gonna spray this sucker off. It's been sitting for a few minutes with that degreaser on there. Hopefully that's a helpful little hack for you guys that don't have one of those hot pressure sprayers. And you're not going to really want to use a pressure sprayer on a radiator anyway. You don't want to have that pressure, pressurized water uh, bend over those little soft aluminum uh, fins. So everybody's going to tell you don't use a pressure washer on a radiator. It's better to put them in a hot water bath or a low pressure hose with hot water on your hot water gear. So guys, this is going to work. All kinds of goo and dirt and grime was coming out of there. And uh, hopefully that's going to cool down my radiator. We've got the hot summer coming. So thanks for watching, guys. See you guys on the next video.